Okay, check out this madness. Here I am, and I've got a terrain with labels base map, and I'm going to go into the layers, and I'll add a layer. I'm going to search Living Atlas for, what do I want? Density. You are my density. I want it, I need, it needs to be a feature layer, so check this. I'll just filter this and say, only show me item types of feature layers. All right, now population density is what I want. I'll do this one. Okay, there it is. Go back here. I want to keep tracks, so I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna get rid of this. And I'll just make it visible at all scales, even though it's really, it's a lot of data. It's all right, we can handle it. There it is. This is a lot of data. Maybe I should have kept counties. Too late now, we're in this together. Don't go anywhere. Right now it's color coding by average household size. Honestly, it doesn't matter what it's coloring by. And to prove that to you, I'll just um, edit the layer style and I'll just make it location. Now I'm just looking at a ton of orange tracts. Thank you, census. I'll dig into the style options. What I'm really after is this transparency by attribute, this little amazing sneaky hidden feature, and I'll use population density. Where'd you go, population destiny? There we go, replace. And I'm gonna color code this to go from a population of 500 people per square kilometer, I think it was down to zero and then the topmost will be or the lowest values will be 100% transparent so you can't even see them. You get the picture here. I actually want to dig in here and get rid of that outline. Outline. No. Smitten. Okay I've just smited the outline now I've got a layer that's using transparency to show population density. Nice and straightforward. Now it's time to negative space this sucker out. So I'm gonna add another layer this time, still in Living Atlas, but I'm gonna search for imagery and world imagery. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> okay, I still have that filter turned on. Okay, don't show me feature. I wanna see some base map tiles. Okay, sorry everybody. World imagery, tiles, add. There they are. Now let's take a look at what we've got. We've got close. We've got world imagery. We've got transparency laden census tracts, and we've got this neat little hill shade base map. So I'm gonna turn these back on. I'm gonna turn this guy into a group, add to a new group. I'll open this to see, show you what we've got, and I'm gonna add this to it. There. Okay, now it's sitting on top. Get this, it's time to negative space this reverse thematic craziness. I'll open the properties and for the blend mode, I'm going to use that cookie cutter sort of blend mode that only shows stuff underneath it, but because it's using transparency, it'll show transparency in the result. Destination atop. <gasps> what the deuce? What have I done? Yeah, I now have a terrain base map that's showing population density as revealed imagery. So it's an Etch-a-Sketch map of population density, but instead of just using a boring old color, we're using population density to make underlying imagery visible, like a bird's eye view of population. A bird's eye view of population with negative space reversed out Etch-a-Sketch hack cartography. Isn't that kind of fun? Here's my beautiful home state, the place I live. Okay, this is how it works, people. Give it a shot. 